All right, let's take a look at some of the preliminaries from WEC 50. What's catching your eye here? And there are two fights which catch my eye. The first one, Javier Vasquez, big win over Mack and Simmerzier. Vasquez coming off of a win over Jens Pulver, looking very good and kind of flying under the radar right now at 145. Yeah, I was surprised. You know, I've trained with Seminar a lot, and, uh, you know, his game's well rounded and, and very tight. And, you know, to see Vasquez beat him shows me he's legit. Also, Mace Jevchuko making his WC debut. Uh, the pride of Poland beating Anthony and Jokowani in just over a minute. That's huge. That was huge for me, too, you know. I, I didn't expect that. I didn't see that. It came out of nowhere, and uh, he's for real. Kid, I've heard about him before. I've never seen him fight, and the kid's for real. All right, good stuff. Now, for more on what went down out in Sin City, from the best bouts to the hardest knocks, let's head back out to Las Vegas and Todd Harris and Stefan Bonner. All right, thank you, Lean Back here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Todd Harris along with Stefan Bonner. What a great night of fighting. Where do we begin? Let's start off with fight of the night. It's got to be Scott Jorgensen and Brad Pitt. Yeah, that was my pick for fight of the night, and I'm so glad they gave it to these two guys because they put on an absolute back and forth war. And I knew it. I called it that this would be fight of the night. Here you see hard punches. Pickett's mouthpiece got knocked out twice. Here you see him land the flying knee. Some more punches from this. This is one of those fights where every time someone landed, a good punch, the other guy would come right back and land two of his own. Here you see Jorgensen ultimately getting that takedown, getting that control at the end of the fight and winning the decision. Well, the knockout of the night came from a rookie WEC debut for Poland's Maciej Yatushko when he dropped in Jokowani. He set that up with that spinning back fist right before that. Anthony was already hurt bad and those uppercuts were just icing on the cake. And how about the submission of the night with 13 seconds remaining in the fight? Anthony Pettit, my goodness, what a fight this was. These guys were going at it for three rounds. 13 seconds left. He locks in this triangle at Shane Roller, and that very well may have earned him a title shot. Well, a lot of pieces came into place tonight, and a lot of great things to look forward to in the WEC. But for now, we send it back to the Daily Line studios in New York and Liam.